Tonight, a Bonita plastic surgeon is back in jail on involuntary manslaughter charges. Welcome back. I'm Jesse Pagan. I'm Marcella Lee. The district attorney's office rearrested Dr. Carlos Chacon this morning after an amended criminal complaint was filed. The complaint won't be public until his arraignment, so we don't know every detail just yet. But we do know he's booked on the same charge he's awaiting trial on after a 36 year old woman died right after surgery. She had a big heart. That's how Nancy Deckert remembers her close friend, a teacher and mom, Megan Espinoza. She was quiet. She was a thinker. She was um, she cared a lot about her friends and family. The two met while in school at Cal State San Marcos. Nancy was an older student and says Megan befriended her like no one else. We started um, doing study groups together. She would come to my house. She would invite me to her dorm, which I thought was kind of Cute. For more than 10 years, the relationship grew until I was shocked. Megan died in 2018, right after a breast augmentation surgery. Dr. Carlos Chacon at Divino Plastic Surgery was her surgeon. We first told you about the case in December. According to court documents, Megan agreed to have the surgery without an anesthesiologist. Nurses injected her with pain drugs during surgery, and she later went into cardiac arrest. The documents say Dr. Chacon did CPR for two hours while nurses gave Megan Narcan. Chacon then called other doctors for help. Three hours after starting CPR, documents say Chacon called 911. Megan later died at the hospital. We kind of went through it with her family, and um, it was a long, hard process. Chacon and a nurse faced manslaughter charges over Megan's death with a hearing coming up in May. His attorneys reached a settlement in a malpractice suit with her family. But regardless of the case and charges, today's arrest is another reminder for Megan's family and friends of who they lost. Now we've reached out to Dr. Chacon's lawyer, but we haven't heard back just yet. His medical license is current, albeit with some public warnings, and he's allowed to practice with some limits. According to his jail booking sheet, Chacon is facing an involuntary manslaughter charge and four counts of practicing medicine without certification. He's in jail on no bail. He'll be in court for arraignment Monday afternoon.